So in this video, we're going to go through the entire setup process for building a custom AI chatbot that's been trained on your data, or in this case, your client's data. Zero coding required, and there's even optional white labeling features that you can use to completely make this entirely your own service that you can provide. This is a business that anyone can start. And alternatively, if you're a business owner that's looking to build your own custom chatbot for your business, this is exactly what Chatbase excels at. So you can also use this video to discover how to build a custom AI chatbot for yourself. Either way, there is so much opportunity right now with AI. Almost everyone understands how powerful it is, but there's so many business owners that don't know exactly how to take advantage of it. This is how. The tool we're using today is called Chatbase. Chatbase is a no-code custom AI chatbot builder that has all the features you're going to need to do this in a simple and clean way. It's free to get started, so if you want to follow along with this tutorial, then go to chatbase.co to create your own account. Right now, let's hop into my computer screen and we can go through all of this together. All right, so we are on the chatbase.co landing page. If you're not already logged in, make sure you create an account. You're probably on the data source page. So let me quickly get there. So this is the account dashboard and you don't have any chatbots yet. So you click new chatbot if you're here. If you're on the data source page, that means that Chatbase just automatically put you in there. So you probably see a page that looks like this. So that's where we're gonna start. So as you can see, Chatbase gives you a lot of options here for supplying it with the training data. So what we're gonna do is I'm going to use the website and I'm going to use Notion because those are the coolest options. If you're on the free plan, you're not going to be able to train it on as much data. I'm on a test account, so I have the maximum amount of characters allowed, 11 million. So you'll probably have less. And so after you load your website in, you may have to clear out some of the links to not surpass that limit. But you can still build a great chatbot with way less characters. So don't worry about it. Now, let's start by training it on the website. So let me quickly grab it. So here's the website. I'm gonna click fetch links. And this should take a few seconds. It's going to crawl the website. And if you have a bigger website, then it's going to take longer for it to crawl. Perfect, okay, so we're done. That just took a few seconds. So as you can see, this website's pretty small. It doesn't have very much going on, but it's enough for our purposes right now. In addition to that, I'm going to hop over to Notion. So I have multiple Notion accounts, so I'm gonna find the one that we're using for this, and then I'm going to select some pages. So I'm going to choose that, and scripts, and that's probably good. And then we'll authorize it. And you can see it pulled in some of the pages from Notion. So now we have two different types of data sources that we're gonna use and we've only hit 11,000 characters. Depending on your business, you may have way more characters than that, but that's okay. 11,000 is fine. And we were also even within the allotted link limit, I believe, for the free plan. So, cool. All right, there's also the Q&A option. If you have like some frequently asked questions that you wanna make sure Chatbase nails exactly, you can use Q&A and all you do is Type in the question, how can you help me or whatever? And then you can put the answer, right? Now I think we're good to go. So just click create chatbot and it will begin training your chatbot. So you can see it says still training your chatbot. So it went ahead and pushed us over to the playground page and now it's ready. So you can see it says trained. Okay, so now we are on the playground page. This is the main dashboard for your chatbot. And you can see I clicked the little toggle button here that's where you can make changes to your chatbot and test how those changes affect your chatbot. This widget here is actually functional. You can chat with it right here and you can see how it responds. And then you can click the refresh button if you want to reset it. Now, first in the side menu here, let's select a model. The best model for you is probably GPT-40 just because it's the standard, right? But there's other options to choose from and they have different credit costs as you can see. GPT-40 has 20, Opus has 20, those are really expensive ones, but GPT-40 has a credit cost of one, Mini has one. So you can try these different models and it's likely that GPT-40 is still gonna be the best one because it's fast and extremely smart. But if you want it to be faster, you could use Mini or if you wanted it to be smarter, maybe you try Opus or if you wanted it to write more eloquently, then maybe you wanna use Sonnet. The great thing is, is that to test them, you just click this compare button right here. 
And as you can see, there's multiple different widgets that pop up. So you just click add chatbots, whichever one you want. And then we can set different models here. Let's get a Google model going. And you can see if I type in, hello, can you help me? What it's going to do is populate it across all of the chat widgets, and then it'll give you the response that each model is generating based on the training data. And you can use that to judge which chatbot is going to work best for you. You can also use it to test the different instruction models. So let's go back here. The next area here we have is temperature and then instructions. So first, let's look at temperature. Temperature is how creative your chatbot is. So if you're on the reserved side, it's not going to deviate at all from what you've provided in the training data, really. And then as you get more creative, it'll start filling in more blanks, getting more creative in how it responds to the questions. So you can play with this and decide what's best for you. Usually somewhere over on this left side is going to be your best option. Let's set it to point three. Next, you can change your instruction prompt. So right here, we can edit it. If you're not really great at creating AI prompts, then you can go here and choose one of the preset ones that we've added for you to use. For our purposes, we're going to do a sales agent today. Sales agent, and then you can see the instruction prompt has changed a little bit. Today, we're going to build a chatbot called Bloombot because this is a Flourish Social Studio agency, right? So let's go, you are a sales agent named Bloombot. If you are building this for somebody, this is really great because the constraints are very well defined and the chatbot is going to be really reliable. So start here. Let's save the changes. We just click save the chatbot. And then from there, let's customize how this chatbot looks. So if you go to settings, we were just changing these AI settings. So you can skip this and go to chat interface. So for the chat interface here, I'm going to just paste in some stuff. Let's just change that and make it a little bit more positive. For suggested messages, I, you can see I can just break these up into separate lines and then it creates buttons, right? So the user can click these messages and it will basically type it for them and then ask the chatbot that question, right? So it saves them a little bit of time and it encourages them to engage with the chatbot. Let's go message placeholder. That works. And then for the footer, you can see this, we have a little message here. It says you can use this to add a disclaimer or a link to your privacy policy. So you know, you can add anything you want here. You could even add the agency that built this model if you wanted to. I'm just going to add a little disclaimer here so that you can have this for inspiration, right? Now let's give it a name. So this is Bloombot. And I like to add a little vertical line and then give it some context. So if you were doing customer support, you could say customer support. But for us, I'm going to do a creative marketing expert. See, you can kind of do it however you want. Now let's add a profile picture. Got one here that I generated inside of mid journey. And so let's pull that out. Pull that out, make sure it's centered. Let it upload. And there we go. You can see we now have a little profile picture. And now chat icon is this little bottom right one. You could use different images, but for this, I'm just going to use the same one. Just move it out there, attach that image again. All right, now to make it really pretty, what we're going to do is change the message color. So we're going to use a little bit of purple here. Let's see how it became purple in the message up here. And now we're going to click the sync user message color with chatbot header. This is great because as you can see, it matches your brand really well if you're putting it into a website. And then you don't really need to change anything else. So make sure you click save. And the appearance settings are basically done. Make sure you set your security to public. Now, if you want to collect leads for your client, then you can turn this on. So click on leads and you'll see that you can toggle all of these on. And when the user starts a message with the chatbot, they will be prompted to provide their information. That's really great because you can connect it to Zapier and then save it to a CRM somewhere. It's perfect. So next, you can turn on notifications if you want. And if you want to use a custom domain, this will completely remove 
chat base from any of the embedding. That way it's a little bit more on brand for your agency if you want to do that. So now let's go back to Playground and test out the chatbot. So you can ask it, how do I get started? And you can see that it there gives a little bit of a response. I'm going to ask it, why does my business flourish? And there we go. So one of the changes that I would often make in a chatbot is making it less wordy. If you want to in the instruction prompt, you can instruct it to be more concise in its responses to use different kinds of formatting. And that's a great way to make the chatbot feel more natural to the user. So now that we've done that, let's go ahead and connect it to the website. So for this example, we're going to connect it to a Squarespace website. So what you're going to do is go to the connect page. And then from there, you're going to go to the chat bubble code here, script. The iframe would embed it directly into the page, but what we want is the little chatbot widget, right? Because people are used to seeing that and it just looks better. Copy that script. And now we're going to go over to Squarespace. Okay, so this is the website landing page. First, we're going to click edit. And this will be a little different for different website builders, but in general, it's going to be the same thing. You're just going to find the embed option and embed the chatbot. So what we're going to do, so we'll just type in embed. We'll go code snippet and embed data. And now we're just going to paste in the chat base code. So there we go and we should be good to go. So now we just click save. So what we're gonna do is click exit, should refresh. And as you can see, it just popped up right there. So I'm just gonna go preview mode. What you're gonna do is, you know, close that. And you can see there it is in all of its beauty. I didn't match the purple exactly. This purple is actually the chat based purple, but you could match it to the exact purple of the client and it would look great. So it's fully functional like we tested earlier going to get a similar response. And there you can see the lead generation form that is now appended because we turned that on. You can also connect this chatbot to a bunch of other different integrations. So I mentioned Zapier earlier. You can also connect it to Slack and WordPress. And we just launched the meta integration. So WhatsApp, Messenger, and Instagram. So you can really connect your chatbot into a bunch of different places and it can work for you on all these different platforms. And then you can manage it all inside the chat log. You can also see who opted in on this lead page. All right, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. What did you think about that? I think it was pretty amazing. Please drop a like to help the glorious algorithm because we want more people to discover chat base. So please click the like button and leave a comment if you have any questions about the process and we'll get back to you about how you can use chat base best. Follow for more chat base videos because we're rolling out new updates almost every single week. So go ahead, hit subscribe. And if you want, watch one of these videos because maybe you can get some other ideas about how you can use Jetbase for your business.